The Taliban government is appealing for international help following that devastating earthquake that killed more than a thousand people in Afghanistan. Rescuers continue to search for survivors after a magnitude 5.9 quake struck about 160 kilometers southeast of the capital, Kabul, on Wednesday. Poor communications and a lack of proper roads is hindering the relief effort in a country already reeling from an economic and humanitarian crisis. Well, let's talk to Shelley uh, Thackrell from the United Nations World Food Programme, uh, the spokesperson in Kabul. Um, Shelley, welcome. Good to have your company. How difficult is this emergency to respond to because of the international community's reservations about dealing with Afghanistan's Taliban government? I mean, first of all, um, the difficulty of this particular earthquake is just the location, the remoteness of where we need to get to, Paktika and host, um, the weather conditions being hampered by very heavy rain, sandstorms and, and very poor infrastructure. The roads are not tarmac, they're not paved. So when you, we have, I've just seen off 18 trucks, a fleet of 18 WFP trucks carrying food supplies, commodities, and some non-food non items, some storage items. So we have, we have food in country. We have those resources to, we're going to get, reach 3,000 households, which is something like 35,000 people. So we're sort of in that, you know, no regrets response where we, you know, we, we plan ahead. And we plan for the long term and what we you know what we are obviously you know really struggling and, and have been even two days before you know a, a, the day or the day before this earthquake struck is we're struggling with money we're struggling with funding um we do need 1.15 billion us dollars to to get us through to the end of the year because before this earthquake sadly there is a humanitarian crisis here. People are hungry across 34 provinces. People do not have enough food to eat. And that's what we've been doing day in, day out, around the clock. The World Food Programme, amongst other humanitarian agencies, looking at relief and food assistance to reach, to reach families, and especially women and children. And do you think the international community will come to Afghanistan's aid? Absolutely. I mean, the international community is incredibly generous and, and, and has been throughout uh, the course of, you know, the, especially the emergency and development history. Um, and post August, post the 2021 uh, fall of the country, um, yes, we've had um, a situation where assets have been frozen. But the international community, if they're saying now, how can we get food to you? How can we help you? Um, that's what we're here to do. We're here to sort of facilitate that, to support that. Um, and that's where we can also work with de facto authorities in terms of easing up um, at the border. How do you get supplies across the border, custom clearances, some of those bureaucratic processes that, will, that we don't want to hold up emergency supplies because the urgency is now. You know, when we say all hands on deck, that means that we need whatever emergency supplies are going to reach uh, are going to reach the uh, the communities and, and hopefully by tomorrow and have those distributions up and running um, in the course of the next 24 hours. The compounded tragedy of this story, of course, is that uh, this country's uh, economy and healthcare system was near collapse before this happened. I mean, in what kind of state is it to deal with this and what comes next? Absolutely. Yeah, you, you know, the, 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 the need now, um, especially when you have something of this scale, when houses have been destroyed and leveled to the ground, is the fact that people won't have clean water, shelter, medical supplies, and of, co and of course, food. So that's the immediate priority. And then on top of that, when um, access to health has also been limited, people haven't had jobs um, since August 15th. People who did have jobs who were perhaps teachers or in worked in construction or or even farmers who've been very heavily affected by the drought. There's been a severe drought for three plus years across this country, decades of conflict, the pandemic, and now a very severe economic crisis. So there hasn't been food to put on the table because there, because there isn't an income for people uh, to be able to to find that money. People have mortgaged land to the hill. They've 
I've even met families at food assistance distribution sites who have to borrow money, perhaps just to take their food rations back home in a taxi. So this is the situation now when you when there is a, a locked cash crisis, when there is no flow of, of money, where the banking system is 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 not uh, you know is not hundred percent working. You know this is what we need to inject back into Afghanistan, and this is what we need. People people want jobs, they want economy, they want you know the, the dignity of being able to go and buy their own food in the market. Shirley Thackrell from the United Nations in Kabul in Afghanistan. Thank you very much.